Hey everyone, in the news this week, King Charles went into hospital with a prostate issue. It was meant to be kept private, but there must have been a leak. There's also a story about how AI is going to supposedly prevent the three buses from turning up at once, as compared to the old method where the Unite Union prevents any buses from turning up whatsoever, especially on a Monday morning. I also saw a story about an electric bus catching fire in London, which is probably the only time anyone's seen a London bus with a heating on in winter. And another week and some more Jeffrey Epstein names came out, and it seems that Bruce Willis was amongst the list of Hollywood celebrities that visited the island. Bruce Willis, of course, has since been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and cannot recall a thing. How very convenient for him. And confusion in Wales after the Port Talbot Steelworks announced that it was sacking the majority of its workers. I say confusion because there seems to be a lot of people arguing that the loss of thousands of jobs is a good thing because steel manufacturing is supposedly bad for the environment. And the company even put out a press release as such, saying how it was trying to save the planet when it decided to make thousands of people redundant. Look at the BBC's press coverage of it. There's an interesting infographic about how one tonne of steel produces two tonnes of CO2, although there's scant mention of how much CO2 is produced in the manufacturing of a wind turbine, or how an electric car's battery alone involves digging 250 tonnes of dirt out of the ground. Anyway, there's also a hilarious quote from the BBC from an environmental campaigner who's apparently very concerned that the UK will have to import steel from other countries and that those other countries might not be as concerned about net zero. But this has always been the point, though. The only way any carbon footprints ever went down in Europe was by moving factories to China or India and then bringing in a team of accountants to sign off on the whole thing. The left can go on about wind farms and solar power all they want, but global coal production hit a record high last year, and thermal coal exports surpassed a billion metric tons globally for the first time in human history. I sometimes wonder if Microsoft Windows simply has a recycling can on a desktop in order to claim some kind of environmental tax kickback, and given the tricks and financial games involved in claiming a win, at this stage I honestly don't know why the energy industry doesn't just go all the way in and claim that coal is green energy, because millions of years ago it was plant material and those plants grew using the power of the sun. Actually, I'm going to phone a lawyer and see if I can patent that idea. Alternatively, I'm going to chuck out another idea for environmentalists. If you do want to reduce the world's population, and smoking and drinking and red meat is going to kill everyone, then let's maybe abolish duty on smoking and drinking. That's an environmental policy we could all raise a glass to. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.